there are not many rational reasons for owning a Maserati Gran Turismo, or Gran Cabrio convertible, for that matter. Even Maserati admits this the short list occupies a single paragraph firstly, the Gran Turismo is not German Dune laugh for some people, that's enough secondly, it has rear seat space and comfort that remains the class benchmark thirdly, its cabin is the place where art and craftsmanship meet there are far more rational reasons to not buy one let's tick them off, since we're in the mood firstly, it's already had its 10th birthday. It's not Jeepers fast by today's standards and neither is it remotely frugal it drives the back wheels through a 6-speed transmission, so it has 50% fewer gear ratios than AMG also. The only thing light about it is the weight of its driver assistance systems the 4.7-liter Gran Turismo and its roofless Gran Cabrio sibling prospered in the plus minus ledgers early in their careers, but they now operate outside them. In the sketchbooks of translated emotion the Pininfarina design body is still stunning, a decade on, from any angle. It's had some tickles on the front and rear bumpers to make the grille more like the one on the Alferi concept car. There are new headlights in the same space and the aerodynamics have been cleaned up so it can streak beyond 186 mph. When we say streak we really mean creep, because it tops out at 187 miles per hour. It has air vents behind the front wheels now, but they're not functional, and neither are the three signature vents high up on the front fenders. Maserati's Aero guys tested German cars with working air vents and found their aero contributions were minimal. The air inlet on the MCs is, though, and so are the twin hot air outlets that give the carbon fiber hood its exaggerated contours. The big news from the powertrain department is that it's been busy eliminating stuff, rather than doing new things it simplified its life by killing off the entry-level 4.2-liter V8, so the only engine in the entire range now is the Ferrari-built 4.7-liter, 90-degree V8. Don't think of bolting in the torque-rich twin-turbo V6 motor from the Ghibli. Quadraport or Levante, or the twin-turbo V8 either, since neither are available. 